Okay, now the last arpeggio we're going to do is the dominant seventh arpeggio over a 2 5 1. And the notes for a, we're going to think of this in C major again, so we have D minor to G7 to C, so the G7 arpeggio is going to be G, B, D, and F. So those are the notes we're going to play only when we're on the G dominant seventh chord. And there's many ways that you can play this as you're starting to notice all over the neck, and it's going to take a long time, so you really have to be patient with learning these arpeggios, because there's just so many different ways that they can be played that, you know, it usually takes people a year or more to really get so you can play these. So, you know, just be patient as you're playing them and just try them a little bit. You're going to forget them and then remember them. But over time, what they're really going to do is really help you get that jazz sound because if you don't outline the chord changes in some way, it's really hard to hear that you're playing over the changes. Um, and that's where these arpeggios really can help you a lot. So now let's take a closer look at playing the G dominant seventh arpeggio. So we have our second finger on the third fret of the low E string for our G, and then second fret of the A string with our first finger, that's a B, and then our little finger on the fifth fret, of, uh, which is a D, and then up on the D string, we have our third uh, fret, and we have our second finger on an F. So G, B, D, and F. So it just take some time and get so you can play that. Notice, notice how my thumb's moving there. You know, I'm not stretching like this. I'm moving my whole hand up to keep it relaxed. All right, now let's try applying that to a 2-5-1 progression. Okay, so now we're here in the 2-5-1. There's our D minor chord. Here's where we put our G7 arpeggio. So again, you want to just wait till that uh, chord comes around. This will also really help you to um, realize when certain chords are happening by only putting them, playing them when they're going by in the progression. And that's an important aspect of jazz, is being able to, you know, single out a single chord as a bunch of chords are going by. But try different combinations, you know, you might start on F. You know, so you want to try all kinds of different, there's actually um, 24 different combinations you could come up with here. All right. Then once you get comfortable with that, start moving it around to some other places. I'll go up here. Or we could do it here. All right, now we're gonna start playing the C major scale for the C major and the D minor, but when we get to the G7, we're gonna put in the arpeggio.